Right, day 18, Thursday morning, it's bright and sunny, very beautiful day. Um, only three or four days to go now, so we've got a lot of archaeology to get out in this trench before Sunday. What we're doing at the moment, we're excavating the third slot through our, through our ditch, which predates the post alignment. Very exciting stuff, no finds as yet, so we can't date it just yet, but fingers across for that one. There's also a potential adjoining feature to it as well, so we need to cut a section across that in order to get the relationship between the ditch and the adjacent feature. Where you can see everybody walking and standing at the moment, that is the, the remains of our, uh, of our buried soil layer. Um, that buried soil layer has post holes cutting through it. We've examined pretty much most of those now. We're going to finish that off today, and after that, tomorrow, we're going to chip that buried soil off to see whether or not there are any features underlying. Okay, so um, myself and Christina, we're, we're back. We've been away for a few days. Um, we've been to civilization. Um, we had showers, beds, and I even had a shave. So, um, so yeah, but it's good to be back. We're, um, we're very excited about being back here. Um, and we've come to do some work on test pit one, basically. We're gonna take some samples. Um, as you can see, Christina's going a bit further, deeper down into the hole. Now, we don't think there's any archeology span in this hole at all. Well, that doesn't mean it's not an interesting hole. The fact there's no archaeology in it is interesting for various reasons because I mean the platform doesn't extend this far. But also what we're seeing is some interesting preservation in the peat at the bottom of this hole. So it's Thursday afternoon and we're in test pit three. As you can see we've had to put some scaffolding here so we can gain access. There's so much wood down there that there's nowhere for us to stand while we're digging it too deep now for us to dig it from the edge so we've put a scaffolding frame around so we can put planks in for a working platform and that means that we can get down clean gently around the wood without damaging any of it. <laughs> 